a lot of riders in this area as well. That's definitely not going to be scenic if you give me some feces and a toilet. I know wooden chairs might do that. Oh yeah, so let me let me, let me throw out wooden chairs out there. This is the Wooden Chairs channel, right here. Wooden Chairs is hilarious. He he uh, makes fun of other vloggers, and it's pretty funny. I mean, I almost pissed myself watching them. So check out his channel. It's hilarious. He only has he's he's gonna vlog pretty soon too. Pretty sure. Oh yeah, scenic. Look at this road. Look how I don't know. You can't see that in the distance, but this road goes on like up a mountain. Mount Olympus. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really used to uh, riding on the right uh, of the lane. I'm used to riding on the left of the lane because I'm usually where Z Magic Ride is. But I wanted some third-person footage of myself because I'm conceited. I'm just kidding. Look at this guardrail. I'm about to hit it. I'm about to, I'm about to hit that fucking guardrail. Raise your, uh, give me, rate me, rate this video if you want me to hit that guardrail right there. Rate this video if you want me to hit that guardrail right there. I'll just slam right into it if I have enough rates. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, uh, I want to know if you want me to hit that guardrail. I mean, it, of course I'm not being serious, but I just want to let you guys, I just want to know how many bad people are out there and want me to, want me to hit that guardrail that was there at one point. I mean, I'm just talking out of, like, nothingness right now. This is all improv. This is all crazy, uh... Rebel Yell, uh, yelling! I should yell for like a good minute. Because I'm, my name is Rebel Yell. Maybe I should yell Rebel over and over and over and over for a minute straight. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to do that. Am I doing a good falling distance? I don't know if I am or not. But you know what? The good fall, the best falling distance, for the most part, is as far as you want to, but the MSF recommends, or I don't know who recommends this. I'm pretty sure it's the MSF. One second behind the rider in front of you, and if you're a Z Magic, the distance between Z Magic and his father would be two seconds. That's how it should be on the freeway and whatnot. But if you're going fast and you have a lot of windy roads, you gotta have it a little bigger space cushion, you know, so so you can get the entire lane. So you know, get the entire lane, you know. So just letting you know, here's the guardrail again. I have many chances for this guardrail. I just want you to, you know, just want to let you guys know that I have many chances for this guardrail. I'll come back out here. It's about 400 miles away, but I'll come back out here, you know, and hit it with, uh, you know, with my bike. Let's see. Yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. Yeah! Good stuff. Oh, yeah, so uh, some of my... One, one or two of my viewers have said that when I talk... A certain phrase or a certain sometimes when I talk I sound like Jack Black Jack Black the actor um, comment this video give me a give me a text comment and say if I do sound like Jack Black or if I can or if I you know if I if I do whatever if I don't I mean I don't care if you text comment this video I'm just letting you know it's a possibility of interacting I'm gonna let you guys know my RPMs. 5.5 thousand RPM. Uh, 52 or 50 miles per hour. My gas right now is about, I have three fourths of a tank. And here I'll show you. You see my gas gauge? Look at my uh, trip meter, 124, yeah, yes! You guys don't get why I said yes. I get about uh, 60 miles per gallon. It's great. 60 miles per gallon, maybe 62. All right, we are passing this. We are passing this. Passing this bitch. Did we make it? Yeah, we made it. All right, yeah, we passed the cars that we were ahead of, uh, you know. I want to give Z-Magic a nice... All 
Alright, I'm assuming we did great. <laughs> three motorcycles just passed about three cars. Going about, I'd say, 75 miles per hour. That's pretty awesome. Bravo. I'd love to clap right now, but I'm in a curve. That's right, I love curves. Raise your hand if you love curves. All motorcyclists likes curves. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you ride. Every motorcyclist likes curves. Unless, unless your tires are like, you know, shitty. Or, I don't know. Maybe you like, never mind. I don't know. But we're doing great. Let's see, uh, you know what? I thought, you, you know, uh, this is an idea. This is an idea. Hear me out, hear me out. I've thought of this idea many times, but I've never implemented it in my videos. The idea is that since you can't really see and feel and smell the things around me and whatnot, since you only could hear and view the things I'm looking at, for the most part, maybe I could have like a narrative vlog. Like, I, I narrate what's going on and how I feel and what I'm thinking about and what I'm smelling, what I'm feeling right now. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna try to do that right now. This is a, this is like a prototype method, so to say. So, all right, I'll start right now. As the cool breeze comes across into my jacket, onto my shirt. Oh, shit, pothole. Okay, that, that really fucked it up. The sound of his motorcycle roared like a lion. That's pretty exciting. The shitty car cagers in front of us are slow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, a, I'm sorry if I'm freaking you guys out. I just, I just add a little. It's like dramatizing, you know. I'm trying to put some drama into my. It's like a soap opera in my videos. Anyway, so let's see what else I have to say. The cool breeze is chilling. Chilling me to the bone. As we wave to the biker, he doesn't wave back. What a shitty biker. Uh, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna pass soon. I think we're gonna pass. Oh, maybe not. I think we're good. I think we're doing good. It's effing cold though. I mean, it's getting cold. It's probably around 50. Or okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not. That's not cold. 50 degrees is not cold. Whatever. What? Uh, it's still. That's still chilly. Alright, downhill on Ninja 250. Guess what I could do? I could pull the clutch? Actually, that's bad. I don't really recommend pulling in the clutch while going downhill to save gas or save whatever. Because then when you re-engage the clutch, actually when you have the clutch pulled in and you're going downhill, you don't have much stability with your suspension and whatnot. I'm assuming. And I'm not in my lane correctly. Oh, shit. That was my fault. I think that was my fault. You know what, when I'm talking to you guys, my ass does not hurt as much. It only hurts a little bit. Because I'm not, I'm not paying attention to anything except what to tell you, basically. And looking behind me for Z-Magic not being dead. Because that would be very terrible. That would be the tragic style. 